water. Water. Very good. Johnny Belinda, God bless Jane Wyman and Johnny Belinda, she's a great actress. But that portrayal bothered me so much. And we're talking about, this is something that happened back in the 40s before people were aware of, of how deaf people lived their lives and how you could portray a deaf character. I mean, she made a deaf character look so victimized. I have a big issue with Johnny Belinda as well. Clearly, we both know that a deaf character who doesn't scream while she's having her baby taken away from her, it's not natural to what deaf people do. If you don't give him to me, they'll come and take him. Belinda, listen, please, let me take him. I won't. And, and there were other things about the film that bothered me. And, you know, the fact that she was a super lip reader, the fact that she came from no language to being able to sign and to be able to read lips and to read lips from behind people's heads or look at them while I'm looking up in the sky. It's, it's amazing. It's not authentic, however. What bothered me is that she portrayed a deaf person that wasn't allowed to make a sound while she's being raped who would not make a sound? Who does not have a voice? Deaf children make noise. Deaf children can cry. Deaf children can scream. It's normal. It's what we do. And in this film, in Johnny Belinda, you know, it's like her mouth was sewn shut. The Projected Image, a history of disability in film. Tuesdays in October, beginning at 8 p.m. For a complete schedule and exclusive content, visit tcn.com slash DIF.